Good morning. Every day fuel up. Got to get your truck ready to rock and roll. Got to do the same thing for yourself. I'm not really a big coffee drinker, so in the mornings when you need an electric kick, it'd be bad to have something. And I stopped drinking energy drinks a while back. A company reached out to me and said, hey, we got just a thing might work for you. It's called Liquid IV. It's a little powder. Grab a freshie out of your ice chest. I like good cold water for doing this. Just dump her down the chute right here. What's cool about this company is they reached out, said what they got, pitched their little idea to me. It sounded good. But they said, we want you to try it. Worry free, no obligation. Just see if you like it. And here I am using this stuff for a good amount of time now. And it's actually pretty good. It doesn't give you too much of a whoa, run down the road, forget your car kind of a high. But it gives you a nice morning kick, ready to rock and roll. And for the 4th of July weekend, they're bumping up my code. It's called Samson25. 30% off all orders. So check it out. It's actually pretty good. It tastes something along the lines of like a lemon lime Gatorade. Oh, it's a lemon ginger. Check it out. Link down in the description below. Who's this guy over here? So these powders aren't just strictly full energy. They also have the hydration ones. And that's the ones that really stood out to me. Because during the summertime, just pounding water continuously. And it would be nice to have a little extra substance in there to keep the hydration up and electrolytes and all that stuff. And that's what really stood out to me when I said, yeah, I'm gonna try these out. We are going downtown to do a large oak tree removal in a residential area. Got a climber involved and we're gonna just chip up all the brush, leave a pile of firewood. We'll see how that goes. Did you want to fall that, or that guy's standing, maybe? Mm. Perfect location. Oh, he's caught wind of me filming him. Oh, is the girl's mouth wide open just standing there? He's selfie -ing. Now the plot just thickened. Uh, I guess the gal's uh, really attached to this tree. And she's cussing at oh, poor Jeff up there. I want to cuss at him too, but I mean, not that bad. Oh, I didn't realize they were hugging the tree. I thought they were just standing in a dumb spot. <laughs> Dishonest. There you go. <laughs> ah. Did you get any sawdust in her hair? Ah, oh, I just hit the hit the ground. Homeboy's up there doing a vlog. He just did a selfie mode. He doesn't realize that guy's, uh, you know, gonna drop crap. Oh, he probably follows me. He's on to me. How dare, how dare you? You're making this cry. This girl, she just, oh man, that's a good shot. <laughs> she is crying her head off that this tree is getting cut down. Oh, I didn't see homeboy. Poor hippie gal, she wasn't here to see this thing fall. <clears throat> Have to send her the link. Oh, it looks like Big Hoss up here just smiling away. 
I cut three. You happy, Frank? You made somebody cry today. <laughs> like how she's all mad at you. Now you transplanted three trees out of the top of the one you're up in. So that counts as something. Your conscience should be clean now. Well, decorated the stump accordingly. And the weirdos came back last night and dug a um, outhouse hole next to the stump. Threw some cigarette butts in it. I don't know. Sure. Right, let's get this fired up this morning. It's gonna be a build site right here. It's gonna get cut down, leveled out, and house go in there. That oak tree up there, well, that's, that's a big discussion. We'll go into that in a minute. But that thing, was on its way out. You know, the lifespan of a tree comes to an end for everything in nature. It dying out, plus they're building a house here. Just didn't make sense to leave it. It was leaning over the road with snow coming in and stuff like that. It just, it's a big hassle to leave it up. Big liability. He could hit the neighbor's house. So dropped it down. Got a couple more to get out of here. Set up security last night because downtown and weird people. I'm gonna fire up the chipper, which I already did. We'll get this all wrapped up before the timer shows. They stole a rock out of that hole, apparently. That's what the, uh... Huh. Hmm, all right. Thieves now. When it beeps, that means it's... 1500 bucks to haul that off. 1500 yeah, Disposal fee. Change. Disposal fee is 1500 just to... Look how big it is compared to... Hey, it's a big sauce right there. You guys hear it beeping? Did up there and just spun a web everywhere. And you got sucked into it. I wish the camera could pick that up, what you just said. <laughs> Last one going down. Oh, man. Shaking a cab. Last one shook the house. What? You guys ain't throwing a fit. These trees got cut down. A little pile of chips, a big old pile of firewood. Might hold on to this video for a couple months. Maybe we'll come back and see what this place looks like with the house built here. It's been a while getting all this permitted. Legal. It's all legit, all done up. People come throwing a fit. They had their chance to throw a fit. They could have bought it. But anyway, well, on to the next one. Ah. Got themselves a nice size kitty cat. <laughs> Is that all, seriously? Counterweight. That's the way it should be right there. 
overkill on the counterweight zero turn i like it I like it a lot next week since we did this tree job here they already did the cup bank poured foundation everything sticked up the house got the roof kind of on it well not shingled up everything but it's pretty neat to see how quick one of these things you know transforms and obviously leaving a hazard tree like this one was in this position for one it's a hazard for neighbors around because yeah it could fall on the road hit a car or it could hit the power lines spark something burn some houses down the road so you got to get rid of stuff like that so that gal coming by and cussing out the climber cussing out dad and everybody that's that's pretty funny didn't cuss me out inside the excavator don't know why but i just want to give a follow-up video show you guys how quickly a house can come up like this because i mean uh, by the time you got done dealing with all the permits and stuff you could have just built the house but now everything's good to go rock and rolling and i don't know looks about like 2,000 square foot house plus a garage so maybe 2,500 maybe a little better good size unit for a position that just doesn't look like they would build houses but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video the gal yelling and screaming and cussing and stuff pretty funny I, i've never seen that happen before comment if you guys ever seen that happen we'll see you guys in the next one like, comment, subscribe, see you.